countries engage in international trade based on the logical saying of no man is an island. Countries trade to benefit from interacting with other countries. Countries in isolation have to contend with being self-sufficient and having a lesser variety of goods. With international exchanges of goods and services, countries get to enjoy a wider variety of goods that may offer better quality. Besides that, the key reason for trade is that by trading goods, countries can afford to specialize in producing only some items that they're relatively better at producing. Trade means each country does not need to produce everything, but just focus its scarce resources on what it produces more efficiently, or what it has a comparative advantage in. The country hence focuses all its resources in what it's best at producing, mass producing for the whole world, and exchanging these for what it's not so great at producing. On a global scale, this means that the world becomes a global production hub, with each country specializing in producing what it's best at. The world's scarce resources are hence put to their best use for all our wants, allowing more to be produced and hence consumed globally. This is the main advantage of trade that is spelt out in the law of comparative advantage. Plus, with mass production, there are cost savings as firms benefit from bulk purchases and specialized manpower, or known as economies of scale. So international trade really is a big step forward for the world in increasing its efficiency. That's why we have countries signing trade deals to foster more cross-border transactions that tap on each other's resources.